I modded my Squire debut. Can you tell the difference? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So a little while ago, I did a review of the Squire debut uh, that I got off of Amazon and then uh, did a video comparing that to uh, a Yamaha Pacifica, which was quite a bit better than the Squire debut as far as sound went. Some of the components of the Pacifica are a little better than the debut, uh, but all in all, they're pretty close as far as build quality and whatnot. But a lot of people claim that the Pacifica is quite a bit better than the Squire debut. So I decided to do an upgrade uh, on the Squire debut because a lot of people say that the Squire debut would make a perfect platform for modding. And so what I had done is I had created this really long sort of video showing all the mods as I was doing them. And then I came down here and did a different audio tests. And that video is going to be pretty long. So I, I decided I'd break it up into two parts and do this video as just showing the audio samples uh, to compare the different guitars. So what we have, we'll have uh, the Squire debut um, pretty much stock as I got it from Amazon. Uh, the only thing I did to it was I adjusted the uh, intonation and I lowered the action uh, on the guitar. And so, and there's a video uh, on the setup of that guitar that, that I did also. And so I'm playing that a little bit and then I upgrade the nut from the plastic nut to a tusk uh, synthetic bone nut and then I do audio comparison between the two. And then after I installed the nut, I, I played, uh, did a, a, a sample of the sustain. I should have done sustain with the plastic nut too, but I didn't think of it. So then I do uh, sort of time the sustain. Um, and then I upgraded the bridge. So it's got bent steel saddles and a, a bigger trim block. So it's the full thickness trim block, but not the depth. So it's a shallower depth, so it fits the Squire body, since the Squire body is a full thickness body. So then I came back down here, did another audio test, and also did a test to check the sustain. And now, admittedly, these aren't you know anything scientific. This is just, you know, just some quick audio examples to see if there's anything that really, really stands out because I would assume that if you're going to do mods with the idea that it's going to, you know, increase your tone or your sustain or whatnot, that the, that the results would be pretty obvious. And so that's what we're trying to see if there's anything, you know, that really stands out. So then I also changed the, uh, the electronics. I do uh, full size pots. So I upgraded the pots and they have orange caps and uh, treble bleed and uh, new El Nico uh, single coil pickups. And so then do another audio example of that. And I'm gonna try to sort of, I'll do the Squire or the, yeah, the debut stock with the nut and then the new nut with the new uh, bridge and then the new bridge with the new uh, pickups and then I'll do stock with the completed mod so you can hear it now label everything so you can see what's going on in the video and uh, put links in the description and then I'll edit I'll finish editing where I actually do the mod so I'm, I'm going through the steps to show you how to actually upgrade uh, the guitar itself and that's a little more nerdy and technical, so I'm not sure that everybody wants to necessarily sit through that. And if I did that and the audio samples all together, you know, you're talking about like a 45 minute to an almost an hour video. So this one should be pretty short, so let's get into it. Okay, so this is the Squire debut. And the only thing I've done to this guitar uh, so far is I did a video where I did a setup on it. I, I adjusted the intonation on it, set the string height, and filed down 
uh, the nut a little bit. So the action is really nice on it. Um, so that's it. So I did a video uh, just a couple days ago where I showed how to mic an amplifier, guitar amplifier, to get a good tone. And I think I've got a fairly decent tone out of the amp. And so that's what I'm going to use for this comparison. So I'm going to record the guitar, uh, just playing some chords, simple chords, uh, with a fairly clean channel. And uh, then I'm going to do the modifications on it and see if they impact the tone at all. This is the middle position. This is the, would be the neck pickup. So I'm back down here in the studio and uh, got the new nut installed on the guitar. And I just wanted to go over some of the things that it says on the package itself. And uh, it says, Tusk transfers the optimum tone frequencies from the strings to the guitar top to produce crystal clear highs and big open lows. Precision engineered under high heat and pressure, Tusk is 100% consistent from piece to piece, unlike natural materials such as bone and ivory. Rich full tone, increased harmonic content, and sustain are what you can expect from Tusk. And that was one thing I probably didn't, probably should have done is uh, test the sustain. Uh, trusted by more guitar builders and players than any other nut and saddle in the world. And then it shows a, sort of a graph of uh, frequency response, uh, tusk compared to bone, and uh, says that it increases harmonic sustain, which I didn't even think of that. I'm more thinking of tone, uh, but it does say uh, increases harmonic content and richness. That's a very vague statement, but let's see. So one thing I did have to do, of course, after I installed this new nut is uh, adjust the intonation again, because uh, I'm not sure why, but you know, it, it affects it. So you'll probably have to adjust your intonation when you replace the nut. So let's go ahead and see what kind of tone we get out of this. Okay, I'm using the same chords. All the settings are pretty much the same. Uh, didn't adjust the volume of the tone at all. And this is on the bridge pickup. This is the middle pickup. And finally the neck pickup.
All right. So then the one thing I should do before I replace uh, the bridge is uh, test the sustain uh, because that's what they say the bridge block is supposed to do is increase the sustain. So let's check that out. Just gonna play an open E chord and let it ring uh, in the bridge pickup position. Okay, and then we'll test it again with the new bridge and see how they compare. So let's go back up to the garage, replace the bridge, tune it all up again, maybe set the intonation again, probably we'll have to, and then we'll come back down and check it out. Okay, back down in the studio. Uh, it's all tuned up. Let's check it out. First thing we're gonna do is the sustain test like we did before we went up and it's gonna be on the bridge uh, pickup and we'll just play uh, open E chord. To me it seems longer, just going by memory. To me it seems longer. Just okay. So maybe, maybe. So okay, we'll play the chords that we were playing before. Okay, so we're gonna do, we'll, we'll compare those. Uh, I'll put them side by side so you can listen to them. So I'm gonna go back up one more time, uh, replace the pickups, and then uh, we'll see how that sounds. Okay, so I'm back down in the studio. Uh, got this all wired up, and in the interest of full disclosure, uh, I got down here, sat down to play it, ran through uh, you know, the switch for the different pickups and the bridge pickup wasn't working. So I took it back up, took everything apart again, pulled it apart, found out that one of the little tiny hair thin copper strands that comes off of the, you know, the winding on the, on the bobbin they call it, that, that goes to either the white or the black wire, uh, had broke. So I just sort of dragged some solder over to it to connect it and now it works. So I don't know if it came that way or if I did something when I was putting it together or, or what. So anyway, here we go. Here is the uh, test. I'm doing the same chords. This is the bridge pickup. <laughs> Okay, and here's the middle. And the neck. Thank you. 
just from what I'm hearing, I think it sounds way better than it did before. But like I said, it's hard to tell because your ears will kind of lie to you. So once I can edit all this and do this comparison so that I'm playing the, the clips right next to each other, and then uh, I think we'll be able to decide. If it sounds any different uh, and whether the nut made a difference all by itself and whether the bridge uh, made a difference as well so anyway what would you think did it make a difference it's hard to tell when you're actually doing the experiments because your ears and your brain will kind of trick you and sometimes you think something sounds different until you get it on the timeline and you're editing and comparing those samples right next to each other and then you realize that there is not much of a difference. Uh, one thing that was interesting, uh, the Tusk uh, nut says that it offers better uh, sustain, but actually the sustain that I noticed came from uh, the, the tremolo block, but I didn't do a comparison between the sustain of the plastic nut and the Tusk nut. And the Tusk nut is really only saying that it's that it's going to give you one more second of sustain. And that's kind of what it sounds to me like the thicker trim block also gave maybe about a second of additional uh, sustain. So I didn't notice any difference in tone between the plastic nut and the Tusk nut. Um, I didn't really notice any difference in tone between the large uh, trim block and, and the new bridge and the old, you know, thinner, smaller trim block in the bridge. Um, I didn't really use the tremolo, so I don't, you know, I don't use that very much. So I don't know that might have changed how it functions. It might, it might, you know, move better or whatever. So that's something that somebody out there that maybe has more experience with that uh, might be able to tell me. But I do think that it added a little bit of. Uh, sustain to the guitar and then I think the biggest difference was in the uh, the electronics and the pickups but it <laughs> it was almost not what I expected I expected in the in the middle and neck position I think the new pickups sounded way better than the stock pickups in the, the debut. But in the bridge position, I almost thought the debut pickup sounded better than the upgraded pickup. Uh, they seem really, really bright. And I noticed that uh, playing the new pickups uh, with a headphone amp, they're real stratty sound and they're real old timey, chimey, you know, 50s strat sound, uh, which, you know, is okay if, if that's the tone you like but I, I find it a little too I don't even know how to explain it it's just real jangly and real chimey um, but like almost to the point where it's a little a little hard to listen to um, but it didn't come across when I was playing it in in the amp I don't think but maybe it's because I wasn't doing enough you know enough lead or whatever so I don't know uh, it was an interesting experiment um, I think that the you know the pots are are better obviously the one broke uh on on the stock debut the one tone pot had broke when i pulled the tone knob off to take the plastic off the pick guard so that would have been you know if somebody wanted to actually use the tone that would have that would have been uh, a warranty issue and i don't know exactly how that works how much of a pain in the rear end it is to send it back into you know whatever you could since you bought it through amazon you could obviously claim it through Amazon if it's within I think 30 days or something like that so anyway tell me what you think in the comments I'm really interested to hear other people's thoughts if you can really hear a huge difference or not I couldn't hear a very huge difference except at the end with the the pickups so interested to hear what your thoughts are I uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in and I will post the next video in sort of this series uh, where I actually show how I replace the nut and how I replace the bridge and some soldering and things like that. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.